Hey YouTube, as you can tell by the title, my house burned down. It just feels weird saying that I'm homeless. Like, it's just, I can't get over it right now. But anyways, so basically I'm homeless with my family and it's just been really hard because my significant other is having some health issues and it's been in and out of the hospital and surgeries after surgery and it's just been really difficult so I just want to tell you a story on what happened the night of the fire so I was getting ready to lay down and go to bed it was around like 9 30 on a saturday night i told my daughter to go put a blanket that i got from costco in the dryer and so she did and it was a new blanket so i don't know if it has anything to do with this blanket or just the dryer itself it was a whirlpool dryer well anyways my other daughter comes upstairs like 15 minutes later and says I'm sorry 15 minutes later and says mom are you cooking something in the kitchen and i'm like no so i got up so quick and went downstairs i didn't see anything but then I seen some smoke when I was in the kitchen and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's got to be the dryer downstairs because that's the only thing that's like underneath the kitchen is the basement in the washing machine. Oh, shoot. <laughs> the, <sighs> hold on. And also, I seen smoke outside my kitchen window because it's right there by the sink. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the dryer. Everybody, get their shoes on. We got to get out of here. As soon as I said that, the smoke alarm just was going off. And I didn't know that my husband and my daughter went downstairs. And he was trying to put the fire out. Like... The blanket caught on fire inside of the dryer and she grabbed the fire extinguisher it was brand new and it didn't work we had two fire extinguishers so i heard him downstairs say get the other one get the other one so i grabbed it hurry up i gave it to my daughter she ran downstairs so quick and that one didn't work either so they tried to put the fire out it did not work so then had to hurry up and go i was trying to get my son his coat i'm sorry i was trying to get my son his coat and his shoes so he can get out so quickly because it's cold outside and mind you this happened in january so where i live is cold and we just we all got out and um, it was just so horrible. It was like one of the worst nights of my life. Like everything that I had gone, everything that we worked so hard for gone because we were trying to, you know, save money, and I was like squeezing the gaps, you know, like with the renter's insurance like i had just switched my insurance and just switched my car insurance and i didn't get a uh, renter's insurance because we we're renting from a family member and i'm telling you like we lost everything and my advice to you is just you know Make sure that you have insurance. Make sure you have insurance on everything. Everything that you own.
because you can lose it in just a matter of seconds, just like that. Like, because everything I have is gone. And I know things are just material things. Like, we can't take any of this with us. But it's just still the fact that all these years, everything we worked so hard for, you know, we just got brand new furniture. We just spent $900 on groceries like the day before and it was just like so ridiculous like my husband had a surgery so couldn't really work at this time and it was just so hard and i'm homeschooling my kids and they were so smart and so quick they grabbed their laptops and tablets for their school like i didn't even know that they just they are so awesome my kids are so awesome uh, and yeah it's like what happened like the dryer caught on fire and it's just crazy i'm gonna upload some pictures of the dryer so that you can see this but please, everyone, please get insurance on everything that you have. Just do it. Okay. Oh, shoot. My stand is not working today. It's not working. But my advice is to just get insurance. I can't say that enough. Like, everything I have is definitely going to have insurance. When we get a new house, God willing, it's going to be getting insurance. Like, right now we're staying in a hotel. And it's really hard. And it's just, we got to do what we got to do right now. To make it, you know, we got to survive. But I know that this is not going to last always, you know. I'm just going through this phase and definitely learned my lesson and i know god's not done doing what he's doing he's not done blessing me yet and but i know that everything is gonna be all right so i just wanted to share a little bit what's going on and i want to start you know vlogging my day to day maybe if I have time or you know just sharing my life with you is basically what I'm gonna do I'm a very quiet person and I never open up to people like this but I just wanna have a channel and I wanna have a channel that's gonna grow and I've been saying it for so long now that I just gotta do it and I'm just gonna do it so don't forget to follow me and like my videos and I'll see you next time bye